Hello everybody, it's Ed Lars here and today I'm going to do a Gaslow cast. Gaslow is a, is a guy, he's a merchant found in World of Warcraft, uh, to be more specific, he's found in Ratchet. And um, Gaslow as a skin, I think it's pretty, pretty cool, it, it, it actually matches the, the, ga the Gaslow that, that you find in, uh, in World of Warcraft. And I think they hit the, the skin of this guy spot on. And well, today we're going to do a uh, gameplay and uh, yeah, with Gaslow and try to like Merc and lane with him because I think Gaslow is the best, one of the best at least, to uh, to Merc. When I say Merc, I s it it means that when you take the mercenary camps, you say it's just the definition of doing that, uh, capping those mercenary camps. Uh, it's just short for yeah for that. So that's Merking. And laning, of course. Uh, he's a great pusher, not teamfight pusher. He's uh, I found him to be a, a good support in teamfights. But to start out with, I, I am going to avoid the teamfights as uh, this cast is just based on on doing mercenaries and uh, on the lanes. And let's just uh, go through the abilities quickly. The rugged turret create a turret that shoots at nearby enemies. This is the primary tank for Gaslow, as uh, this turret will tank for, for Gaslow while you're taking the mercenaries. Um, and we can, when we go through the talents, I will show you how I buff these guys. And we have the death the death laser. Um, charge and shoot the laser damage range increased uh, the longer it is charged. Um, we will try it out when we get into the game, but I rarely use this one. When I use it, it's it's mostly for trying to snipe out enemy heroes that are really, really low on health. And I actually think that that it's a good snipe, but it takes a while for it to charge up to deal like some just some minor damage. But I can't say that it's the best talent. Some might disagree with me. Um, but anyway, I'll try it out and see if there, there's an opportunity to, to snipe out an enemy hero. The Explodium Charge, this bomb, I just call it a bomb, throw a time bomb which stuns damage to uh, enemies in an area. These are crucial uh, for you to, to clear out the mercenary camps. But uh, you will see how they work. Um, and we have the Salvager. Turrets and enemy structures drop scrap, uh, collect, restore mana and reduce cooldowns, activate to decimate a turret. Use this as often you can, but use it at the right timings when you clear out mercenary camps. Um, I will show you how I use it. Um, you can easily find yourself in a situation where you have to remove a, a turret and that removal of that turret is just way off. Uh, so, so be careful when you use the salvager. Let's look at the heroic abilities. Uh, the Robo Goblin transform uh, to deal increased siege damage and gain reduction to crowd control effects. This is primarily if you want to do do the laning and if you find yourself in a good spot to do a backdoor backdoor run, you can actually solo backdoor with this uh, with this uh, ultimate ability. Um, and I might think that I'm going for this one in uh, in the gameplay that we're about to enter. The gravel bomb three three thousand. It's like a super explodium charge. This guy right here it drags the enemies to the center of it. What people tend to do is they use the gravel bomb in timings with the explodium charge to do a uh, to do a double stun. Uh, it's pretty good for team fights. But for today, uh, for today, I'm not going to focus on team fights. Some people might complain about that, but um, they'll be happy that I'm clearing all the mercenary camps. So the talents right here. There's a load of talents and. The, the, the talents that I'm going to do today and pick today is that I'm going to use the talents that benefit Gaslow the most in order to clear the mercenary camps. Um, so for the first one I usually take the uh, extra TNT. As you can see the Explodium Charge damage increased by 10%, target hit to a max of 100% increased damage. That's pretty good for that bomb. Level 4 talent. I take the Superiority. Uh, reduce damage taken from non-heroic enemies by 50%. This means that you can take out the boss golem camps, the boss mercenary camps, a lot earlier if you don't take this. 
It also helps at the night camp, so, so I, I really like this one. You know, when I'm going to do mercenaries. Uh, level 7. Um, depends on the map, but usually mercenary lords. Um, this is the far out most when you're going for mercenaries. Uh, congratulations, Glado. And welcome to, to the game. But anyways, uh, mercenary lord, it's, it's, it's in peril, I think, when you go for mercenaries. Um, but again, depends on the map. Uh, the other one that I usually do on level 7 is uh, it's the Rugged Turret XL. Turret attack up to two additional targets for 50% damage. That's pretty good um, as well for clearing out camps. So the ultimate, like I talked about with the heroic ability, Robo Goblin, might be the choice of today's uh, gameplay. Uh, level 13. The quick release charge uh, adds an additional bomb charge. Um, this is really good with the with the build that I'm going to do today, as I want to clear out the mercenary camps. This just means that I can stun the enemy mercenary camps for a lot longer. It's also very good if you're going for the gravel bomb build, and you can do a triple uh, triple stun uh, if you do your timings correctly. It it, it takes some practice, but it's uh, it's actually not that hard. Level 16. Um, I'm going for the turret storage. Adds uh, another turret to my uh, to my ability to, to my ability line, uh, which is pretty good. Um, but you will see that come into effect when we get into it. The Mega Lord increased duration bonus damage against heroes. This or the resurgence of the storm. It really depends on the situation that you're in. But uh, anyway, I think we should give it a go. <laughs> So that was just a quick, a quick browse of the of the talents that we that we have with Gaslow. So hopefully we don't have to wait too long for our fight to start. And I'm actually hoping that we get maybe Blackheart's Bay would be a great great map as we have three night camps actually. We have two easy camps and we have a boss camp and then we have the small skeletal camps. It would be pretty good for the purpose of today's cast. Oh, what else? What else would be good? I think Dragonshire going for the bottom lane is pretty good. Uh, since in Dragonshire you have the easy camp below the shrine, uh, below the lower shrine of Dragonshire, and I could put some nice pressure on the on the enemy team. Then we have the uh, your own easy camp. Then you have the enemy easy camp that's easily to take if they are not paying attention. And then we have two night camps, e.g. hard camps. Uh, there's no boss camp in that map, as I think the boss in quotation marks is the dragon itself. That would be pretty good. Uh, I don't think that I'll maybe. I don't. I don't want haunted mines. That that would be the the worst map to do it in. I think. Um, that may have me to do some other build, I, I don't know yet. Um, so let's hope it's not Haunted Mines. Okay, let's see. Illidan, Tyrael, Lily, and Nova. Oh, it's a Garden of Terror, that's pretty good. A lot of camps in it, it's easily to take out the, the big terrors. So let's give it a go. Just note that the guy that I greeted and say congrats to that he got an alpha invite was a guy on my Twitch stream, so... He doesn't seem to, to be handing out alpha keys uh, on a regular basis right now. But since we have BlizzCon around the corner, I think they might announce when the beta is going to start. Hopefully we'll see at least two or three more heroes. That's my hopes. So, Alright, let's get to it. The loading is about to finish now. And let's put on a game face. Extra TNT. Yeah, baby. And I want to do the bottom lane actually because this is the place where we have the easy camp. Um, it's right here. The battle um, begins. And when I port home, heroes. I can easily go for the. No. Oh, They'll never even see what hit them. I should Time actually go for the top now that I come to think about it because we have an a easy camp here and a hot camp here. Ian. 
Ten um, seconds. Down here we only have one easy camp, and then we have the the enemy easy and hard camp over there. Five. So yeah, four, I'm going for um, three, I'm going two, for the top lane. One. Go on now, fight. And we're fighting another Gaslow actually. Chin, Tessera, Vela, and Tyrael. I gave no one permission to start leave I'm just gonna gardens. support the lane right now. Let's hide these turrets right here. And here. On top of it. This way you can see the turrets will actually shoot on the enemy minions right now. And it denies the hiding of enemy heroes in the lanes. Let's get some bombs down. Actually, let's use the death laser right now. Ah, uh, not the best one, but anyway. Overextending Turiel. And should play some rocket turrets. Just a few I hope you're ready. Ah, got a heal. So we're level two right now, I'm going. which means that I'm about to get ready to do the first in this camp. Actually, don't know what Illidan is doing right now. Oh, he got away. Narrowly got away. I'm a bit low, actually. The shadows rise. Slay them and gather the seeds. Okay, I think I got enough for doing this camp. So let's just start out by doing the first camp right here. You got the choice between doing an actual seat camp or... By seat camps I mean these small camps that drop seats. And then it's helping me. Um, right now with, I was a bit low so it would have been good for me to be chopped off. Uh -oh. So let's remember to take the turrets with the D ability right here. Um, actually, let's go home, heal up, and then we can do the hard camp. Yeah. You can do the hard camp as soon as you get the superiority talent. Um, so level 4 is your, is your mark for the hard camp, really. So let's get to it. Oh, you can see the enemy team actually managed to... To get a lot of seeds here. Now, right now we don't have any lane presence at the mid lane. I don't like that actually because come on, please. Because we are losing valuable XP, even though we are ahead. Actually, don't hesitate to just spam down those turrets. I hate it when they try to steal your camp. Nice and easy. And let's go down to do the bottom easy camp actually. I'm not sure why this Gaslow on the enemy team is not trying to do mercs. Um, as you can see, there's quite a good pressure on... Uh, on the on the center lane, and we have the hard camp pushing the upper lane right now. That's that's really good. So let's clear out this camp right here, and I'm not sure if I want to go for uh, for the enemy camps. It's a bit risky. Actually, I want to go and help defend the mid lane. Let's quickly get this turret salvaged. And let's salve out a little. Oh, he took... Uh, didn't take the mercenary law. And remember to pick up the scrap. Or scrap. As if the scrap lowers your cooldown and it gives you uh, and it gives you mana. Actually, I want to try and sneak in and take the enemy hard camp. No, wait. I'm just going to take the big guy here. Okay, 
Okay, I made a mistake here. I placed turrets a bit too close to each other. Because when you do his AoE smash, it's going to destroy, uh, destroy most of it. Yeah, I see. Ah, this one's good. It's good enough. It's good enough. The we actually managed to get a lot more seats than they do. And with it, my so right now I'm going to rest. try and steal the enemy hot camp right here. Ah, we have a guy who complains a lot here. But I guess that's what Slobus is all about. Different people. Different views on how to play the game. But note that, that the, the cast that I'm doing is actually just the way that I like to play and think it's, think it's the best way to play this. You can see this castle is actually pushing quite hard. So let's just help clear this out. And we got the Robo Goblin all set. We got the easy camp button running again. And this we can do the hot camp must be uh, soon enough. No need to be so let's clear out this camp right here. No and actually I want to try and sneak. I'm going to save that bomb I got right now because it, it's not necessary. I want to sneak in and take our ally requires help. And sneak in and take. Uh, oh, it's, it just got capped. This enemy must be punished. This turtle seems to be complaining a lot. Oh, Chin is almost dead. Has destroyed a force. Yeah, baby. Okay. Ah, not good enough. Not good enough. Ah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Get to the fountain. No! I actually got the health, but then I die. Hmm. I'm gonna have to watch that on the replay. I'm gonna get back here and quick the health defend. Let's start. So I'm standing in the mine right now. I'm gonna get stunned. Night falls once more. Yeah, sniped. Ah. I sniped the hero and I got sniped by Gaslow. So let's add the additional bomb charge. I want to get up and get the... Get the hot cam right now. So seven seconds to respawn. It is time. Do what must be done. And I want to quickly activate it before okay. that we have enough seats. And hopefully they won't be doing it. I, uh, I want my mercenary reload. Finally, you have enough seats. Some people tend to forget that Gaslo and other heroes have the mercenary reload ability. Oh, you can see the yellow aura that they have. That's the that's the buff from the mercenary reload. And down he goes. Right now, I want to push with the with the hot camp, but I have to be careful because we have a lot of enemy heroes. Uproot your enemy's thoughts. So let's start going. See the damage against this building? It's just massive.
Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Okay, I gotta be really careful here. Uh, but actually, we did a good push up here, and they... The turret got a good push down here, and we're actually gonna get this fortress right here. So I think it was, uh, it was worth it. This fortress should be nice right now. It will give you a lot of XP, so try to pay attention to no, almost dead my beautiful terror has fallen. It's great XP. So they got one level on us now, and we should try to even that out by either getting some kills or having some lane presence. I'm not going there right now. Um, I'm actually going to help my team into the team fight. Let's uh, take this turret storage that I talked about. Actually, they got it under control. They might even overextend themselves. Um, I want to try and avoid that. Um, so right now, two turrets. Uh, actually, an extra bomb. Should do the trick. And there we go. And remember to salvage. Note that you can salvage even if you're mounted. So I wanna do... Actually wanna do the hot camp. Actually wanna do the hot camp, yeah. I think I have enough time to steal it. But this gotta be very fast. I'm gonna give it all I got. All I can take. Come on, we can do it. Yeah, I got it. Barely got it. Barely got it. And let's go for our own easy camp. Barely got it. That was pretty good. This just means that Gaslo is occupied by dealing with the, the hot camp that I just took. So don't think um, that even though if you you get a get a camp going and it gets killed right away, just think of it this way that. That the enemy hero is, uh, or the, even this the enemy, enemy team, is actually having to deal with uh, with the camp itself. I think we're too widely spread right now. Nice, we just stepped in that thing. And let's boom it up. To be honest, I don't think we should have engaged in that fight. You can see the enemy gas though, it's, he's even better in these sort of team fights because he have upgraded turrets instead of uh, the mercenary lord. So his turrets will shoot three targets uh, at one time instead of just one target. Well done, um, heroes. And that's actually better for team fights because the mercenary lord is not going to benefit any of us in the team fights. Oh, Lily should really go and attack him. So this is the fight of the pandas. I don't think Chen can solo Lily. But self healing is just too strong. So let's go help defend the, the top right here. My plans. Uh, they got it all sorted out, so I should go for our hard camp really. we take this mercenary kit. And I want to push with it. And let's do another bomb, we just give it all we got. Mana shouldn't be an issue right now. Actually... Don't step in that shit. Got her! Stiped out! As you can see, that was a good. Get too comfortable. I still got the, the Robo Goblin going here. Return again. As you can see, that was um, the Death Laser actually came into uh, quite good effect right there. As I managed to just snipe out Valor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push with the hot camp right here and take care of this fortress. 
I usually throw down a turret uh, alongside a bomb um, to have the turret tank um, tank the enemy minions for me. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get get some turrets down, get some bombs down. Come on. Uh, resurgence of, uh, of the storm. That's what I'm going to do right now. As I honestly don't care about him. Uh, ah, he's gonna get me! No! Oh, I survived. Did he try to kill me or what did he do? What a fool. That's the tutorial that's been complaining all fight. Let's just block all communication to that guy. Destroyed. Yeah, that was for the best of it. So let's do a quick defense here. And handle the enemy terror. Kill the plant off quickly and don't step in that shit that I just stepped in. Yeah. Excellent. Your enemy's terror is bright. Let's go aid in the team fight right now. Uh, the most beneficial for all of us, I think. And we got it, so let me get out of here. And I'm going to do the enemy hot camp again. No, I gotta be careful, Turiel is right there. But I got Resurgence of the Storm, which means that I will respawn like instantly after death, so I'm not too worried actually. Only problem is that I would miss out on this hot camp, that would be pretty sad actually. But it seems that we got it, and just taking the last salvage. Night falls once more, and soon the Shandler shall rise They got channel again. sorted out, so let's just go for this easy camp. And then we have to go back and get some, uh, some mana stocked up again. I can't really say that the enemy team is that intimidating. Uh, actually. It seems like this, Gaslo is, uh, is occupied by dealing with the hot camp right now. Um, and we destroyed all out of forts now, so that's a good deal. Um, let's just help Lily out here. Get the turret down. Ah, uh, maybe that was a bomb wasted. And let's just sell this shit. There we go. And Turil is cl clearly clueless about um, Gaslow because if he'd know what to do, he would say that it would be a good idea to have Gaslow have it instead of himself. So let's help get the last seats. I'm not going to go with the Terra today. Um, I'm going to use the Terra to to help me uh, being in my own lane and no attention away from me. So it is going down. And down. The dawn has come, heroes. And with it, my children must uh, I'm indifferent right now. Yeah, baby. Help defend or go push. Actually, I should help the defend. Bring my terror to life. I could go push the bottom lane really hard. And I know this may result in a lot of complaints, but uh, well done. The terror shall uproot your enemies. We got our own terror going. Yeah, baby. 
The enemy is attacking your core. So what we're going to do is just storm this place down right here. Well done. Your enemy's has been Make this, but still got the resurgence of the storm. So I managed to just clear one gate, that's alright, I think. And I think they panicked a bit. Uh, they're ahead now in regards to the base destruction. here and there. And why would you use your triple tap just to like take care of simply no mana? Ah, I mean the health. Your tail has been cut down. Let's go and do the easy camp. Um I'm not going back to do the hard camp because that takes too long. It seems that it's really anterior discussing what's here. I'm gone. And we took care of him nice and easy. Quickly take out these minions and boom. And let's go ultimate solve in this game. Let's go for the fortress. Let's get out of here and go back and take the hot tip. And this is why I think Gaslow is so great. Um, the amount of pressure points that Gaslow can can do is just, it's just amazing. He's like the ninja of Lane and rushing. Okay, after this, it's time to go back. Uh, giddy up. Good mana and help. I'm not sure what this animation is really doing. So we're all set up right now again with the our ultimate. Um actually I won't want to just do a quick defense at the bottom here and take our easy camp at the bottom. Uh yeah, I think that would be the best choice actually right now. And there's a lot of XP here. Clear it out. You have enough seeds. Can you feel the terror Terminate this hero. Oh, yeah. I am not going to take the terror because I want me as Gaslo to be able to to apply the uh, the amount of pressure that Gaslo can. Nice so I want to bring the light. I want to push the bottom uh, lane right now and push it way back up to their base. Just put down your turrets and you can easily salvage it afterwards. Material spamming again. He is obviously clueless. Um, why this is good. This is good because we're pushing our minions up in this end. Because if they destroy this fortress right here, they're going to add catapults. Uh, and catapults deal a lot of damage to, uh, to our base. And let's just help clear out this fortress. And let's get out here. Yeah. 
And let's put some pressure up on the top lane. Actuators online. What you can use your turrets for is actually um, scouting for purpose. The turrets are actually an excellent uh, place in the grass like we did at the beginning of the fight. Keep destroyed. Ah, well, you should. Keep destroyed. Double kill. Double kill. And let's get out of here. The terror has been cut down. So right now, my turrets are blocking for a further uh, enemy. Uh, um, enemy pre progression here. Well, that was my uh, point. Thing is heavy. So let's start do some murking again. It's not unusual that fights in this map is taking this long. Um, I think uh, this map is actually the the map where you have the longest game in. And the enemy base is wide open right now, so I should be able Night to sneak falls in once and more. Yeah. And soon the shamblers shall rise again. A lot of flaming. I actually wanna Terminate this block this lily as well. It's simply a waste of time oh. sitting and riding and telling people how bad they are. Um, no what's the point? It's not gonna make a difference in telling how bad they are. The only thing you get out of uh, out of that is just making uh, another guy feel bad, and I think that's good. Let's avoid that. So I should be able to finish the game now. As we have these easy camps going in. Ah. Well, I got the surgeon, so I'll be back in a few. Look at it go, look at it go. As soon as my ultimate is up again, I'm just gonna storm in and finish the job. Grinding gears. We've got one level, almost two levels at them, and uh, that's pretty good. Oh, we got Gaslow here. I'm not gonna get spotted by that guy. And we got a Bella. Yeah, baby. Let's just clear out this. And they know that I'm here. Oh, we got a gas though, and gas though here. The enemy's terror has fallen. Um, I'm going. Let's just march right in and see if we can finish it. Ah. Close. They are really protective down there. They know that I want to backdoor it. Ah. A lot of downtime now, so let's just observe and get wiser. You can see the cannibals going on here. They they are actually like like the siege giants we see from the from the easy camps, they hit very hard. I'm not sure. Um, I'm 
not sure about the difference in the damage uh, they deal. Uh, actually, I think these giants are stronger. Oh, I would actually like to just finish up with being a terror. That would be pretty nice. So, if. Mm, seems no uh, wants to take it. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's fine. I am going down in the bottom lane and going that way up. Gasla should have a teleporter ability to teleport anywhere on the map that he wants to. Ah, that would be cheat, I know. Yeah, we got two levels on them now. If the enemy team was smart, they would try to, like, backdoor us and just run in. Um, no, they can't. They can't really do that. They can't really do that. So that is just tough, huh? There we go. And well played. Just to have the mana all set up. So this was the Gaslo uh, spotlight and guide. And on how I like to merc and lane with Gaslo. Um, I think he's an absolutely fun hero and I like to play him when I just need some time off from my Uther play or, or stuff like that. And he's very enjoyable uh, because he's very annoying for the enemy team as he's just clearing out camps. Especially annoying in Blackheart Spay as he will also gain a massive amount of gold coins uh, throughout the fight. So go out get this guy and yeah do some merkin and laning with Gaslow. So guys, thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for future spotlights and videos. Um, I will at least add a video twice, I don't know, maybe once a week, yeah, that's my goal. So um, so stay tuned and watch me live on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash So yeah, see you around and feel free to ask questions. Bye bye.